everyone. Hope you are fine and safe at home. So hope you have understood all the videos I have uploaded so far. Okay. So if you haven't subscribed our channel, do subscribe it. So today we are going to study the next topic of this unit is Ohm's law. Okay. I think this Ohm's law it is not new to you. You might have studied from your lawyer classes, right? So what this Ohm's law says? Uh, Ohm's is the scientist who found out this law. So based on this law only, all the electrical engineering, uh, all based on this law. We are studying and analyzing everything based on this Ohm's law. Okay. Now in this topic, we are going to find out the Ohm's law from the microscopic form of current or microscopic form of Ohm's law. I already told you what is meant by microscopic form. Microscopic form is analyzing in the atomic level. microscopic form okay now what we are trying to do is we are going to derive the my macroscopic form from the microscopic form of Ohm's law okay so what is the microscopic Ohm form of Ohm's law already we have discussed that is nothing but j is equal to sigma e is the microscopic form of Ohm's law okay so in a circuit how the current is produced when it is produced yes when there is an electric field, the current will be produced. So that the charges will move, then the current will be produced, right? How the electric field is generated? Electric field can be generated because of a potential difference, right? One side it is positive and the other side it is negative. So because of a potential difference, the electric field is generated. How we can produce this potential difference? By many external agencies. Here we are using a battery, okay, to produce this potential difference. If we apply this potential difference, we can generate an electric field. Okay. We can generate an electric field. If we apply a potential difference field, we can generate an electric field. Okay. For our analysis, let us take a conductor of like this, a conductor. Okay. Which is having an area of cross section A and the length of the conductor is L. Okay. We are supplying a potential difference of V using a battery and the electric field is generated because of this electric field a current is generated okay shall, shall, shall we derive the macroscopic form of Ohm's law okay we all know that the electric field is nothing but potential per unit length okay or unit length la evlo potential irukku okay what is the potential in one unit length and the energy evlo irukku or unit length la or unit length evlo energy spend pannikku that is called as Electric field intensity or simply electric field. Electric field is nothing but potential per unit length. Okay. Now, what is our microscopic form? Microscopic form of Ohm's law is J is equal to sigma E. Okay. So, we know that what is E? Here we have substitute. We can substitute this value. V is nothing but potential per unit length. Just substitute that value. Okay. Also, you know that what is this J? Current density. Current density means what? Current per unit area. Or unit area or meter square like evlo current. Irukka. That is called as current density. So both the right and left hand sides are equal. So we can equate the right hand sides. Okay. So sigma V by L is equal to I divided by A. From that we can write V is equal to I into L by sigma A. Okay. We all know that. What is Ohm's law? What Ohm's uh, find, Ohm find out? Ohm find out that whenever we are increasing the potential, our experimental enna whenever we are increasing the potential, the current is also increasing. Whenever we are decreasing the potential, the current is also getting decreased. Okay. But based on some constant, some things will be, some uh, characteristics will be constant. Okay. Here also we have derived V is equal to I into this value. Okay. So this value we can take it as a constant. Okay. That means the length. When this will happen. When the current and voltage will be equal. Voltage may apply. Current increase. 
when the length is constant ore length ah irukum suppose you are reducing the length means it may vary okay your uh, voltage if you are reducing the length uh, length means your potential become varies okay so if the length is constant you will get the same current that is you will increase the current as the voltage increases okay similarly if the area of cross section okay if the cross section area is increasing what happens my volt current will become decreasing okay why it is reducing like this why i'll give you an idea about that okay so i can write this as this constant as r that is called as resistance okay that is called as resistance that means what opposition okay so i can write it as v is equal to i r okay r is nothing but it is called as resistance you may already so you might have studied about resistance right what is meant by resistance it is an electronic material that is component which will resist the flow of current that means it will oppose the flow of current it will be having some obstacles okay so that is called as resistance so what is resistance here from this in the constant and our resistance in eduthukom yeah what that resistance says r is equal to l divided by a right r is equal to l by sigma a okay so what is r when the r varies eppo in the r ngiradhu vary aagum r will varies when the length varies okay suppose you are taking a conductor of this length okay and another conductor of this length okay so this will be having some obstacles idhula nariya thada irukku illaya adu enna pannum in the flow vandu it will resist the flow inga pathina innu nariya resistor innu nariya thadigal irukku illaya so it will resist some more okay so what happen as the length increases the resistance will also be increasing thadigalum increase aagum okay similarly as the area increases what happens definitely my resistance will decrease okay as the area increases my resistance will be decreasing because so sometime the area it will be like this okay sometime if it has a resistance here it will flow here inga the thada irundhuchna ipdi pogum it will have so many ways to move okay so as the resist area increases resistance will be decreasing as the length increases the resistance will be decreasing this is nothing but a conductance this is called as conductance that we will discuss it later okay so from this v equal to ir we can write r is equal to v by i right so we know that what is this r i hope that you could understood what is resistance what are the factors it depends upon okay so now let us give the definition for this resistance okay what is meant by resistance okay theory that means uh, theoretically or ஒரு ஃபார்முலா பேஸ் பண்ணி அதை வந்து நம்ம ஒரு ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் கொடுத்து அதை எப்படி டிஃபைன் பண்ணுறோம் அப்படின்னா ரேஷியோ ஆஃப் பொட்டென்ஷியல் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் அக்ராஸ் த கிவன் கண்டக்டர் டு த கரண்ட் பாசிங் த்ரூ த கண்டக்டர் வி மீன்ஸ் பொட்டென்ஷியல் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் ஐ மீன்ஸ் கரண்ட் பாசிங் த்ரூ த கண்டக்டர் ஸோ த ரேஷியோ பிட்வீன் தீஸ் டூ கிவ்ஸ் த ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் ஓகே ஃபார்ம் தட் இஸ் ஒரு ஃபார்ம் அதாவது மேத்தமெட்டிக்கலி வென் வி எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் இட் வி வில் ரைட் இட் எஸ் ஆர் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு வி பை ஐ ஓகே ஸோ வேர் எவர் வி ஆர் ஹேவிங் வோல்டேஜ் வி கேன் ஹே ஏபிள் டு ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் த ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் இஃப் யூ நோ த வோல்டேஜ் அண்ட் கரண்ட் வி கேன் ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் த ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் இஃப் யூ நோ த ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் அண்ட் கரண்ட் வி கேன் ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் த வோல்டேஜ் ஓகே ஸோ யூசிங் திஸ் ஃபார்முலா வி கேன் டூ ஒண்டர்ஸ் ஓகே வி ஹேவ் டு தேங்க் ஓம் ஃபார் ஃபைண்டிங் அவுட் திஸ் ஃபார்முலா பிகாஸ் யூசிங் திஸ் ஃபார்முலா ஒன்லி ஆல் தி எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் பேஸ் எக்யூப்மெண்ட் எவ்ரி திங் வி ஆர் அனலைசிங் யூசிங் திஸ் ஃபார்முலா ஓகே த நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் த நெக்ஸ்ட் யூனிட் ஆஃப் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ வாட் இஸ் த எஸ்ஐ யூனிட் ஆஃப் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் the gsi unit of resistance is ohm since it was found out by the scientists we are giving the name uh, that is uh, unit as ohm okay so the symbol for this is this this is the unit of resistance okay now this is the characteristic curve of a resistance okay that's our ohm's law what is ohm's law as the voltage increases automatically the current will increase right so this is ohm's law as the voltage is high okay what about my current the current is also increasing it is 5 as my voltage is uh, it may be 5 or 10 whatever may be as it 10 it will goes to 15 likewise as the voltage is increasing the current will also be increasing 
So such devices, in the device alarm, in the mother characteristic amikido, voltage increase pana automatic current increase. Agh, ila current increase agna, voltage increase agna, and the mother characteristic irkre devices, we will call it as ohmic devices. The devices which obeys ohms law is called as ohmic devices. Certain devices which does not obey the Ohm's law, like diode, you will study later in your uh, ninth unit. Okay, such units doesn't obey the Ohm's law. As the voltage increases, it may increase or uh, it will not constant. The R value in the part in the linear constant R it is increasing. It will not be linear. Okay, such a type of characteristic in the mother the obey panna the devices alla we will call it as non-Ohmic devices. Okay, hope you could understood what is Ohm's law. Uh, let us see the next forthcoming talk uh, detail about this topic later. Thank you for watching.